Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, come and sit down and shut the door. We got to talk. You guys, things have escalated between Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. If you guys don't know, Jennifer leaked the page six. How dare Ben say I'm the reason? Messing with sobriety, all that mess. Y'all, we saw him on a date. He's seeing somebody. Well, guess what? A lot of people are like, Ben would never do that. He's an upstanding man. Well, Jennifer's team had to let him know. J-Lo's team had to let her know. Had to let all of us know. Um, excuse me, this is the same man that was sleeping with the nanny and had the nanny walking around in Jen Garner's clothes. Are you sure he wouldn't? But guess what? J-Lo said she's done to play nice. She's talking about J Ben's dark side. I have a whole playlist. Check out, check out that. But y'all, let's just get into this dirt. J-Lo is now saying that Ben was cheating on her with um the one of the Kennedy's granddaughters, nieces. I don't know. We we'll talk about that in a second. They are saying Ben was cheating on J-Lo. J-Lo found out, and that's why they filed for divorce. Y'all, let's get into this. All I got to say is one thing. Poor J-Lo. You can feel what you want about her, but it sounds like she literally fell under a narcissist's spell. And this isn't to say that J-Lo isn't innocent. And this isn't to say that she might not be a narcissist herself. I'm saying that she met a bigger one. <laughs> I'm saying she met King Narcissus, which it sounds like Ben Affleck. Okay, let's get into this, right? Um, okay, this is the rumor everybody's going with. Page six is going with it. They keep talking about it. A lot of people online are talking about it. <laughs> Listen, they're saying that Ben Affleck has been cheating on Jennifer Lopez with a Z-list actress and Trump supporter Kick. Kennedy, which led J-Lo to file for divorce after she found out per page six's report. Y'all, this is the rumor everybody's going with. If I was J-Lo, I would be so mad and humiliated. This is the rumor everybody's going on, that you're being cheated on by the daughter of a crazy bear deleter and dog meat eater. <laughs> Yo. A wild week for J Lo, and I'm not even laughing at her misfortune. I'm laughing at the fact that everybody tried to tell her about Ben Affleck, Gwyneth Paltrow. You saw the way he did the mother of your kids, Jennifer Garner. You saw that he only cut. What was all this therapy she went to? Remember, I want to know. Remember the greatest love story never told. That Joe was pretending to be playing her therapist. Who's the real therapist? Let them be named and shamed. Come forward. Even though the therapist is JLo's real therapist, if she has one, is probably like, don't blame me. I tried. I tried. I tried. We all tried. Even Jane Fonda, everybody told her, and everybody that's been around Ben has known. When he left Jennifer Garner, he went out of his way to kick down blame her for all this stuff. He's just a nasty piece of work, but let's get into this. Okay. If you don't know why we're saying you're dating, you're being cheated on by the daughter of a crazy bear deleter, Google, um, kick Kennedy's father, Google bear in central park. I think his name's Robert Kennedy. It's one of the Kennedy's. So if you're wondering why she would be with Ben, well, I don't know, honestly, been, I don't know, girls be going in on him, but I will say this. Okay. Um, she looks like a ringer for Jennifer Garner and you know, he has a type and Ben also has political aspirations. He always has. That's why he chose Jennifer Garner over JLo because she thought he thought that she would play better. Um, uh, you know, to the Bostonian crowd. He wants to go into politics hard. He flirts with it all the time. And J-Lo said that he's been seeing this girl. I will say one thing. J-Lo's PR team woke up and honestly got to work, okay? This is a paid six exclusive and this is coming, in my opinion, straight from JLo's camp. Because if you know anything about paid six, they usually do just only talk to PR people, okay? Ben Affleck has been hanging out with Robert, yeah, RFK Jr.'s daughter, Kit Kennedy, amid Jennifer Lopez split. They're saying Ben has been spending time with Robert Kennedy Jr.'s 36-year-old daughter, Kit Kennedy, amid his divorce from J Jennifer Lopez. Run, Kit, run. A Hollywood insider tells Page Six they've been spotted at the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel and other hotspots. So all this stuff about Ben worried about a sobriety, 
is all lies. It seems like Ben to me, I'm not a psychologist. I can't diagnose anybody as a narcissist, but it seems like he has a special blend of narcissism that when he leaves the person, he blames them and makes them believe of it. And then he comes back later. Look what he did to Jennifer Garner, cheated on her, did this, did that. And she's still holding this man's hand. Oddly enough, they are saying that Jennifer Garner's fiance has broken up with her. But a lot of people are like, nah, -uh, they were just featured at lunch. Let me tell you something. We didn't even see that man at the kids' graduations. He has not been around since Ben started leaning on Jen Garner. Clear and Jen Garner does not get photographed unless she wants to. Clearly, she arranged that paparazzi shot. We shall see on whether they are still together, but I'm sure that Ben chased him off too. The nature of the relationship remains unclear. This is per page six. Reps for Ben and Kit Kennedy did not immediately respond to page uh page six uh comments. Again, to me, she looks like a Latina. I know she's not Latina, but she looks like a Latina Jen Garner. Okay. Um, her father, Kit, uh, whatever, seems to be screwed up in the head. I'm talking about this Kit Kennedy. Her dad is the one that left that baby bear deleted in Central Park and like ate dog meat proudly. Like there's something wrong with that man. All right. Now they're saying, uh, page six has learned that their marriage has been over since March. However, uh, JLo filed their date of separation. It's April 26. She cited irreconcilable differences. Um, listen, they said one of those differences is likely that Ben could not stand the media attention the relationship bought him. Also, you know, it's been all over Twitter. I don't know if this is true, and I'm just telling you what I heard on Twitter, that Ben, one of Ben's exes said that she doesn't think that he's sober. She thinks he's a dry whatever. We don't know, but it, I don't know. Let me just back up. We don't know. So I let me not spread that. But what I am saying is Ben seems like literally like a piece of work. All right. Um, they're saying that he was freaked out on their honeymoon. I do want to say if you go back to my playlist, it's been for two years. When he was on his honeymoon, I said, you guys, he is crying. He's freaked out. He looks unhappy. He looks grumpy. He looks mad. And everybody was just like, Tisa, people don't have to be smiling all the time. And I'm like, Okay, y'all. And now he's coming out and saying that he was freaked out on their honeymoon in Paris due to the paparazzi bringing their flashbacks of why their relationship ended, the media pressure and spotlight. You know, the weird thing is with Ben that he's such a jerk. You know, JLo, it is her wedding and her honeymoon. You listen, J, you actively pursued her back. You begged for her back. Even in that dumb documentary that he allegedly, according to JLo, made her make, he was the one that said, you know what? If I accept you, I have to accept all of you. I'll take the fame. I'll take this. I'll take that. He knew what he was getting into. And you're telling someone that loves fame that she can't have paparazzi on her honeymoon, a honeymoon she's been waiting 20 years because you famously not only left her, three days before the wedding, but you then spent the decade mocking her and being in on the joke. Oh my God, please. They said Ben tells page six that he is not ashamed of his need for solitude. And is proud of the fact that he always has and always will take care of himself. He has never and seemingly will never give himself over completely to another person. Um, Again, Ben's a liar. You've been all over with this girl, Kit Kennedy, to every hot spot with alcohol, with people, with all this stuff. But JLo, because she made you go to the Met Gala and basically work events, because let's actually be real with JLo. JLo is not very mixy when it comes to Hollywood parties. Think about it. She's not on the Hollywood party scene. Now, don't get me wrong. She'll go to the Oscars. She'll go to the Emmy. She'll go to the Met Gala because that's her work. That's how she makes her money. But JLo is not like you don't see her at Chate Chateau Marmont. You don't see her at the Polo Club. She's not very mixy for like lounges, alcohol. She doesn't drink. She works out all the time. So Ben, you're looking like the liar. Is it me? Because he's looking like the liar right now. Again, what is the lie? He was sick of JLo and he wanted to dump her. And he does the same thing he always does. He blames her so he can eventually come back. Um, and all's forgiven. But you know how that is. Anyway. They said the kind of big love Jennifer believes in, that sort of all-consuming devotion, Ben played along for a while and wanted to be part of it, but that's just not who he is. But this is who Ben is, the type of man that knows you want that, pursues you while you're in a relationship with someone else, 
promises you that, puts on your ring, not going anywhere, does everything he needs to, to for you to feel safe. He played along for a while. You mean he shamelessly lied and conned? You mean he shamelessly told you whatever he needed, you needed to hear for you to literally risk your reputation? Again, I know nobody likes J-Lo. I get that. But can we just talk about the sickness of that? He played along for a while. You pursued her. You did this. You made her make that trash documentary um, about your love where she's like vulnerable and crying and breaking down and doing an ode to you. You financed it. She didn't even want to do it. She wanted to focus on her other projects. And then you're saying you played along for a while, but that's just not who you are. You are a psychopath. What? And again, I know because I'm even like, well, J-Lo, you should have known 20 years. But when somebody goes out of their way to earn your trust in every way, you know, the biggest marker should have been that he was on some BS when he said he couldn't be more than a 20 minute, no, a, a 10 minute drive away from his kids. So that's where they had to look for a house. Right. Because he wanted to, and I said, great, but you had her move her kids. So you didn't get like J-Lo, that should have been your first clue that as much as he said, oh, I'm a great father. He treated your kids like they didn't matter. And because you were so gaga and cuckoo or cuckoo puffs for him, you let him treat your kids like that. Yo, I don't know about that. Again, to add salt to the wound, she he, she desperately tried to save the marriage by Ben showed no interest in it at all. She's furious. He has humiliated her. He was the one who initiated getting back together. He's humiliated her because she's made a big deal that he's the love of her life. He hasn't shown any commitment and interest in making the marriage work. It's gotten to the point where she just needs to look out for herself, y'all. Yeah. So Ben's done the same thing he's done to every woman he's been with. He's found he's gotten under someone to get over it, even though we don't know the relationship and the nature of his relationship with Kit Kennedy. But I will say that he always starts an emotional affair before it actually turns real. Anyway, it's funny the way now they're being spotted everywhere since Jennifer filed for divorce. But the news is that they've been hanging out and that's why Jennifer actually filed. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> this is kidding. Poor Jennifer. I actually feel sorry for J-Lo. I really do. And she bought it on herself. I know she feels so stupid right now. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll talk.